Hello everyone, I welcome you all to today's tutorial. Like we said in today's tutorial, we'll be discussing on the inverse of functions. So the first question you have to ask yourself is, what is the inverse of functions? The inverse of a function is a function that undoes the action of another function. For instance, if I have x as a function, the inverse of x will be equal to 1 over x. That is to say, if I am to multiply x by its inverse, it will undo this x and my answer will be 1. That is all about the inverse of a function. And today we will be learning more on functions and their inverse. I will be teaching us two methods which, which we can use to get the inverse of a function. Now let's begin. Let's say f of x is equal to x plus 5. Now to get the inverse of this function, we have to first put in our mind that a function always does something to x in an equation. That is, in this equation, the function takes x and added 5 to x. This thing again. The, in this function, the function takes x and added 5 to it. Now, the inverse of this will be the function will always take x. Now, it won't add x, 5 to x any longer. It will minus 5 from x. That is to say, we all know the opposite of addition is subtraction. Let's put that in mind. The function of x of we add 5 to x in any equation. Let's see this other equation. If we have fx is equal to x minus 6. Now, the inverse of this, the first thing you should do is that you ask, the f of x did what to x? Now, the f of x subtracted 6 from x. So what you will do is that for it to subtract it from x, the inverse will be that it added 6 to x. I hope we are following. Now let's go to something more complex than this. Let's say for an example, we have the f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. Now this is as simple as this. At least we can say that the inverse of this function is that the f of x multiplied 2 to x and added 1 to x. Now, the opposite of multiplication is division. As if to say, I will put my division line here. Now, let's deal with this. It added 1 to x. Now, the opposite of multiplication is Sorry, the opposite of addition is subtraction. It will subtract 1 from x and it will divide 2 from x because it initially multiplied 2 to x. Hope we are following. Now, this other method I want to teach us, let's put it attentively, is quite easier than this. I think to say the first step we do is to know that y is equal to the f of x y is equal to the f of x and the second step is that you use y to equate any equation you have now the third step is that you replace x with y and you replace y with x hope you are following then the fourth step we take is that then you reverse and make y to be subject of for black. So let's begin with it. Coming back to this first question, the first step that I say we will take is that we replace fx with y. That is, I'm going to have y is equals to x plus five. Hope you are following. The first step is that we replace 
f x the function of x with y. Now the second step we have to take is that anywhere we see y, we replace it with x, and anywhere we see x, we replace this with y. That is to say, in this equation we put x is equal to y plus 5. Don't forget to first replace f x with y and we interchange anywhere we see x we put y and anywhere we see y we put x. Now the next step is very simple, it's making y subject of formula. That is y in this equation will be equal to x minus 5, which makes this the inverse of this. Now the last thing you will do here is that since you make fx y here, then y is also fx, then you just put the inverse of this is equal to x minus 5. Don't forget the first step is that you substitute y in place of fx. The next step is that you replace s in any way you see y and y in any place you see x. The third step is that you make y subject of formula in the equation. Now let's go to something more complex than this. If I say the f of s is equal to 2x plus Now what will be the inverse of this equation? Now they give us it's somehow long, but it's very easy. Now, this is what you do. You just need to follow the step I outlined here. That is, anywhere you see the function of x, you replace it with y. That is to say, and we have y is equal to 2x plus 5. Don't forget, you replace this function of x with y. The next step I told us is you replace y with x. And anywhere you see x, you replace it with y plus 5. If you follow this step, you are assured that you will get the inverse of a function. Now, the next thing I told us to do is that we make y subject of formula. As it's taking 5 here, we have x minus 5 is equal to 2y. Since we are still having 2y, but we need only y, we divide both sides by 2, which will bring us to y is equal to x minus 5 all over 2. So the last thing we do is y is equal to same as fx, the function of x. All we need to do now is to put the inverse of this function will be equal to x minus 5 over 2. So don't forget, the first thing you need to do is to replace f of x with y, then you interchange x and y. Anywhere you see y, you put x, and anywhere you see x, you put y. Then the next thing you do, make y subject of formula. So it is ideal that you get the inverse of that equation when you make the y a subject of formula. So let's do Let's try something more complex than this. Okay. If we have the function of x is equal to 2x squared plus 9. 2x squared plus 9. It is as easy as the other one we just saw. You can as well pause the video and try it. So if you have done that, let's go through this. Remember the first step I taught us is that when you may see f x, you replace it with y. That is, I'm having y is equal to 2x squared plus 9. The next thing we need to do here is that we replace y with x in any place in the equation. And anywhere we see x, we replace it with y. Don't neglect the square sign here plus 9. Now we are almost done with this problem. Now the next thing I taught us to do is that we make y subject of formula. That is the first thing we need to do is to take the 9 here, cross the equality sign. When you cross it, it becomes x minus 9 is equal to 2y squared. So we are having 2y squared. We need to divide both sides by 2. That is to say 
dividing both sides by 2, this will cancel this. Then I'm having y squared is equal to x minus 9 over 2. Remember, we are not looking for y squared, we are looking for y alone. Now, the final thing we need to do, since it is a square here, we need to square both sides to cancel the square in the y, in the right hand side. At this, I'm having the square root of y is equal to this x minus 9 over 2. This square root will cancel the square here, then I'm having y is equal to the root of x minus 9 all over 2. Now, this is the inverse of this of this equation. Sorry. Now, the last thing I thought of is f of x is equal to the root of x minus 9 over 2. Now, the inverse of this equation is this. Now, the one thing I want us to know that if we follow the step in orderly in the other way, we will get the answer. So the first thing I taught us to do is y is equal to fx. You replace fx with y. The next thing you make y in replacing fx. The next thing you need to do is y we interchange with x and x we interchange with y. And the last thing you need to do is make y the subject of formula. So we just can be able to get the inverse of a function. In our next class, we'll be dealing with more questions and more problems on the inverse of a function, the one that deals with fraction. And I promise us we'll bring the shortest method for us, for you to know. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and like our YouTube page and God bless.